No Christmas spread is complete without the star of the show. Today, I'm gonna to show you the absolute best recipe for prime rib. Meet me in the kitchen, let's make it happen. All right guys, first things first, it's time to prep the prime rib. Here we have a five and one quarter pound prime rib roast. Not the biggest prime rib in the world, but hey, we're cooking for a small group today. The way I like to do this is, first I'm gonna flip it over like so, and then we're gonna to begin to kinda of partially remove the bone a bit. That way, two things. One, it's gonna be easier to carve when it's done, but two, we can get seasoning down in there, uh, you know, behind the bone. So, very important step here. Nice sharp knife makes this an easy job. And then we're gonna use some butcher's twine to uh, reestablish it. But now we can get salt all right in there. This is a five pound piece of meat, guys, so don't be shy with the salt. Heavy application of kosher salt all over the prime rib. You wanna do this at least an hour or so before uh, you're ready to cook it. I like to do it overnight if you have the time. So the night before, maybe Christmas Eve, after you've had a couple adult beverages, made cookies for Santa, go ahead and salt your prime rib and get that bad boy in the refrigerator. That way you get salt and seasoning all the way through the meat, get some good penetration there. Now, also you want this to come up to room temperature before you cook it, that way it cooks evenly. Two very important pro tips. Nice dry brine with the salt and then allow it to come to room temperature before you cook it. Let it sit out on the counter for about you know 45 minutes, maybe an hour. The other seasoning we're using is my all-purpose. This has some you know pepper, some garlic, some onion powder. It's low in sodium, so you're not you know, over salting this at this point. We're also gonna add a little bit of seasoning to the compound butter that we're gonna coat this in. But that's gonna be a little bit later. We wanna get these flavors in there. Now once you got it seasoned up, we're gonna go ahead and take our butcher's twine and tie it up. So you wanna kinda make a good knot on each bone of the prime rib and tie it nice and tight. I skipped my Boy Scouts lesson, guys, so don't judge me on my knots here, but you guys will get to the, the picture. This is basically just to keep the bone in place. The bones will help this cook evenly. And then my wife's favorite part is the bone, so can't get rid of that. Let's take some scissors and cut out any excess butcher's twine that you see right here. Next up, my friends, we're gonna go ahead and preheat the oven to 500 degrees. We're gonna cook the prime rib in that oven for five minutes per pound at 500, then reduce the heat down to 325 and finish it up. Before we do that though, we need to make this compound butter. Here I have two sticks of room temperature butter. We're also gonna add rosemary, thyme, garlic, and shallot. Just wanna knock the leaves off of the rosemary. Then we're gonna add it in a food processor, NutriBullet, uh, pulse it, blend it all up, and then add that, fold that into the room temperature butter. So at this point, guys, we're just gonna dice up two small shallots, add six cloves of garlic, plus all the fresh herbs that we had here. We're gonna add that to our room temperature butter for our compound butter and season it to taste and just slather that on to the prime rib. Give it a nice compound butter massage before it goes on into the oven. All right, so at this point, guys, you can go ahead and take out your herb, garlic, and shallot mixture. You can add a little olive oil or avocado oil to the blend just to you know, help everything kind of blend together a little bit more smoothly. And then we're just gonna scrape this on out of there, get that in there with the butter. This could be fantastic, guys. Perfect for steak, pork chops, anything like that. We got some big rosemary sprigs in there. I'm not gonna trip about that, that's no big deal. But for the most part, it's ground up pretty nicely. And this right here is exactly why you wanna have room temperature butter. That way it's easy to kind of you just mix together. You could also just add all of this to the food processor if you want to. The Nutribull is not quite as effective on that and I didn't feel like breaking out the uh, food processor from storage. So here we go. We're gonna go ahead and just fold it in the old fashioned way. 
We're also gonna add a few dashes of worst word in the world sauce, a little smoked paprika, and some all-purpose seasoning or just some salt and pepper. Last but not least, I'm gonna add a little garlic butter and herb seasoning. You can use that if you want. We got plenty of garlic butter and herbs right here, obviously, but we're just trying to take things up another level. And give our girl Kimmy a little shout out. Now that the prime rib is up to temperature, we're gonna go ahead and slather on that compound butter we just made. It's gonna make the prime rib absolutely delicious. The flavor is gonna melt in during the cooking process and it's gonna help form a beautiful bark on the outside. So let's go ahead and get in there with our butter. And just wanna do this by hand. So I'm just gonna kinda of really massage it in there. I'm trying to do this so you guys can see it, but depending on the size of your roast, if you have you know a 10 pounder, you probably wanna double this recipe for the butter. So we're just gonna slather it on there and just massage it in. After five minutes per pound at 500 degrees, we're gonna go ahead and bump the temperature down to 325 for about 12 to 14 minutes per pound until the prime rib reaches your desired internal temperature. All right guys, so we pulled this fresh out of the oven. It's right where I want it, right at a perfect medium rare. In between medium rare and medium is how my family likes it. That's how I'm gonna serve it. You can serve it however you like to. Just monitor that internal temperature. You wanna allow it to rest for about 15 minutes before you cut into it, which is what we're about to do right now and serve it up. And this is the part where I say, brace yourself for a trademark money shot. Say it with me guys, looking good. The only thing left to do is getting here for a taste test. But before we do that, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell to enable notifications as well. All right, my friends, moment of truth time. My favorite part of the job. Mm. All right, so after five minutes per pound. All right, guys, so after five minutes per pound at 500 degrees, we're gonna go ahead and remove the. What am I trying to say?